And I actually think the the Mexican beer, now the Corona thing is helping the um, this particular investment. This this investment strategy, right, is one that's probably as close to risk free as anything you can get out there, and that's municipal bonds. And so you probably had to fill up with some with some municipal bond. I'll tell you what it is. It's basically a bond as a form of debt issued where you can, you can buy a piece of, of, uh, of a loan to, to stuff like the MTA. Let me just keep it super simple. It's basically a bond in the MTA. What that means without getting too technical is that you can park your money there and you get a steady return. And municipal bonds pay anywhere from four to six to something percent, maybe sometimes even more, and it's all tax free which the pre-tax equivalent will probably be in the eight, nine range, depending on your, what income bracket you fall into. Be that as it may, it's a very, very safe uh, form of investment and wealthy people have used it for years. It's not very well known, as at least not on the mainstream level because it just seems so opaque and, and, and weird. But um, basically the business case for this is this. Things like, uh, again, we're New York City, so I'll just use the subway as an example, the MTA, the subway. Investing in that, your downside risk, your downside risk is, will the MTA go out of business? Probably not. Probably not. And because of what's happening right now and no one is in it, the yield on that just went up. So that could be an opportunity to hear because who knows when things are going to go back to, to normal, but it's still going. And again, another thing, another case for municipal bonds is that they have a default rate of, I have the number in front of me, give me a second, I will find it. Is um, do, 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 do. the annual I'm gonna read here from investopedia.com. The annual municipal, municipal bond default rate was 0.03%. In other words, your investment is 99.97%. Safe. So, and again, it's tax free yield anywhere from four to six percent. And the downside is, do you believe that the subway is gonna go out of business? So that could be a way to pick up some good returns right there, along with some stocks where you probably can exit quickly as the market restabilizes. This here is a good long-term thing for you. And you don't have to do any work, you just put your money there. And even better, so these bonds are like, I think it's the 10-year one that, that went up to, uh, do your research yourself. I forgot what I'm going to do. Go to your bank. They can tell you how you can buy these. Or you can buy them as what's called ETFs. These are basically stocks. These are these are publicly traded companies that invest in other stocks. They're really good at learning the market. So some, there are some tech ETFs that invest in tech companies. And then that company, based on the returns it generate from understanding different stocks, will make a return. And they'll, if you invest in them, you'll then get a, get a return. It's like a fund of funds, so to speak. There are ETFs that do nothing but invest in municipal bonds. And again, all your returns are tax-free. So there are people, I know this from personal experience, uh, one of my bankers at JP Morgan said to me that there are people, because if you have $100 million lying around and that's liquid, to me, you're an idiot. And I said, why would anybody do that? And he explained, well, if you're older, you don't have the time to put it into seven, 10 year investments. You just want to put it into something stable where it gives you a steady yield. And he showed me an actual case of somebody that had a million dollars sitting there. And that person got, I forget, it was like 77,000 tax free. That's the equivalent of a doctor's or I don't know, a doctor, like a lawyer's salary. Well, good salary, you know? So this is a good long-term investment. You can you start buying these, you can buy them, whether, it, whether it's an ETF, so you can go to your bank and they can help you invest in this particular um, asset class. So again, municipal bonds, look into them. Quick and easy way to make a four to six to, and even more tax-free yield. And it's as close to risk-free as it gets. Let's face it, is this that way that I go out of business? I don't think so.